There have been a few high scoring bedlams in the last decade, and this year looks very similar to me. Offense is clearly both teams' strength and especially quarterback play. Spencer Sanders has a shot to win back to back bedlam games at Oklahoma State, something not many quarterbacks have done in OSU history. Sanders was last week's hero off the bench, and he's earned the trust of his head coach. We had flexibility in the fourth quarter with the Spencer because we could just get rid of everything we had and went back to what we've done the last three years and just start pulling out plays. He's experienced enough that he can run them and we just call him and he knows what to do. Incredibly experienced. He's a winner, you know. Uh, he's instinctive. He's fast. He's explosive. Got a quick release. Uh, he's, you can tell he's played. He's got a lot of moxie. You can tell he's played. Uh, a lot of football, the, the team rallies behind him, plays off of uh, his leadership and his energy. Sanders says he'll take the field Saturday night, 6.30. He's expected play. If you're not in the stadium, you'll be watching it right here on KOCO. And we'll take the field at 10 a.m. Be sure to join us for a special pregame board game day before the action again at 10 a.m. Battle of the quarterbacks is closer than you might think in this one. Dylan Gabriel is taking some heat at times from the OU fans, but he's just guilty of following some of the best quarterbacks ever to play at the school. You look at these numbers, they're almost identical. Same number of touchdown passes. One more interception for Sanders. Rushing yards is also very close. Could be one of the very final bedlams, so look forward to it on Saturday night right here at 630.